Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today on the DCC Guy, I want to follow up on some previous videos that I've done on Decoder Pro. You guys seem to really like Decoder Pro based on the number of views that I've been getting, and um, I've discovered a few more neat little things that you can try with Decoder Pro, specifically roster groups. So today I want to show you how you can work with your roster to break it down into groups that are closely associated and makes it a lot easier to sort through what you have. So stick around for a minute and we'll get started. Okay, so what are roster groups? Well, consider that you might belong to a club. And in that club, you've got a computer set up with Decoder Pro and an interface so it can be used for programming club locomotives and members locomotives. As a result, you can expect to end up with a bunch of club locomotives plus a whole bunch of other locomotives belonging to the various members of the club. And as a result, you're probably going to have a fairly large roster and you're going to have to sort through all of those roster entries when you want to program your locomotives. Wouldn't it be great though if there were a way so that you could just display the locomotives that belong to you or to the club or whoever. I have a similar problem. I, you know, collect locomotives. Uh, who doesn't? Um, but I, you know, I have locomotives. I have my my Great Western English locomotives that I have. I have my uh, my 1950s Southern Green locomotives and a bunch of those that are used on the Piedmont Southern. I have my uh, Southern in the tuxedo black and white paint scheme from the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And then I have things like this um, Amtrak locomotive that I did an article in um, MR on. So, and I have a lot of others. I have N and W steam locomotives. I have other kinds of things that, you know, they, they fall into their own subgroups. And what I want to be able to do then is just look at the locomotives in the roster that um, are related. And uh, if I want to program southern uh, my southern locomotives, I can just bring those up. So there is a neat feature in Decoder Pro that allows you to do that. It's called groups. And with groups, you can set up a group of uh, that would be just the southern locomotives or the Great Western locomotives or the NNW or whatever, all the locomotives on my Piedmont Southern. Uh, at a club, you could have the club locomotives, you could have John Johnson's locomotives, you could have Pete Peterson's locomotives, and so on. So that when you open up your roster uh, in Decoder Pro, you can just bring up the subset of locomotives that you uh, want to work with that time. So let me go ahead. I'm going to move over to the computer and uh, I'll run through a tutorial on setting up roster groups and how to work with them. And hopefully by the end of the day, uh, or by the end of this video anyway, you'll have a pretty good understanding of how to go about doing that. And uh, hopefully that'll get you started. Okay, so here is my, uh, my current roster uh, in Decoder Pro. As you can see, I've got Bill's uh, 2884, uh, a CNO 464, Chuck's 462, um, Clinchfield locomotive, uh, a CSX locomotive, um, some dummies that I need to erase, some GWR locos, um, then a whole bunch of Southern stuff, uh, VNO, Wally's RS2. So it's a big mismatch, okay? And I need to be able to sort this out. So let's take a look at how we can go about uh, creating subgroups of these roster entries. Now, one thing I want to point out before I get really into this is if you read the tutorial instructions um, on uh, the Decoder Pro website for how to do roster groups, uh, you will find out that they talk about a lot of features that actually no longer exist in Decoder Pro. So uh, basically, uh, they have, they see, it seems like they've scaled it down and they haven't updated the instructions to reflect uh, the changes that they made in the program. 
So uh, be aware of that, and the instructions are fine, but there are things that they say you can do that you cannot do, and I'll point that out in a minute. And there are features, you know, menu selections that just aren't there anymore. So let me go ahead and get started with showing you how this works. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go in here to Settings, click on that, and you can go down here and you can see you can create a roster group, you can rename a roster group, duplicate a roster group, delete one, and then there's this roster group table association. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, first, let me show you hide and show. Um, when you click on that, you can see that this column on the left opens up, and the first roster group available is all entries, and that's all of this here. Uh, then there is a southern group, and I've already created this and populated it, and it's just my southern locomotives. So if I click on it, bingo, all I have in my roster display window is my southern locomotives. So let's go ahead and uh, create uh, a different group, okay? Let's create a roster group that is going to be um, Great Western Railway, GWR, and I'm going to click on that, and you can see it's been created now. If I click on it, you can see it's empty. Let's go ahead, and we've got all the entries here. Let's bring up our roster group table association. And this is the uh, place where you go to uh, assign locomotives to a given roster group. Now, the first thing you have to do right up here at the top to get this to work is click on the roster group that you want to assign locomotives to. So let's say I'm going to do the GWR here. Then I go down here to these guys here, and you can click on it here to start. And see the little check mark? That indicates that it's being added to the roster group. And it's not bad if you're only working with, you know, three or four or five, six of them. But when I did my southern group, it took a few seconds. It's not that difficult, though. At any rate, as soon as you click on the ones that you want to assign to the group, then you just go ahead and close that window. And now you can see all of the GWR locomotives are assigned to this one our roster group. Um, let's go back. Let's create another one for my Norfolk and Western ones. Uh, create a roster group. We'll call it N and W. Okay. Click on that. I'll go back and we'll go to the uh, roster group association. Um, remember up here, you have to click on N and W. And then, as you go through here, I've got to find all my N and W locomotives. I've got four of those J-class locomotives that I use on the Piedmont Southern. Whoops, that one doesn't go. Okay. So we've got all four of the N and W J's here. So now I can just close the window. And we go over here, click on N and W, and I've got just my J-class locomotives. So anytime I want to isolate a specific group of locomotives, then I can do this. Okay, so that's, that's how you would do a whole series of locomotives that you wanted to assign to one of these roster groups over here. But what if you create a new locomotive and you want to add it to a roster group? Uh, unfortunately, in the uh, new loco uh, setup, uh, I have not found a way to assign it to a roster group. The only way that I can tell that you can assign a locomotive to a roster group is create it first, have it appear in this global uh, all entries roster group window, and then go ahead, click on the roster group table association, select the group or the subgroup that you want to add it to, and then let's say Chuck's 462, click on it, and that's all there is to it. And that should add it to the group. So if we look now, we've got Chucks 462 has been added to the NNW group. So that's, that's the way you would do it. Each time you create a new locomotive, you have to go back and uh, go through this uh, roster group table association method. Um, and that's all that there is to it. It's a very straightforward approach. And if you want to get rid of that uh, setting, you I mean, the uh, a particular window for roster groups, you just click here and it disappears over here into the left. Um, you can pull it back out by hand, 
or you know you can use the uh, option above here to hide and show it. Now, the leading roster groups. Fairly straightforward. You bring this up, click on the roster group that you want to get rid of, and click OK. And it asks you again if you're sure. And you say yes, and it's done. Uh, and you'll see that when I bring up my roster groups again, that NNW roster group is now gone. Uh, the GWR and the Southern are still there. The NNW no longer is. Also, there's an option here to duplicate a roster group. Um, I've been trying to think of reasons why I might want to do that. Uh, maybe you have a you want to subset a group, and uh, you know you want to. Let's say if I had a roster group that was comprised of my N and W and my Southern locomotives, I could duplicate it um, and then remove, click off the N and W ones, and then save the south the rest as the Southern group. Um, I might be able to do it that way. That that would be one way to do it. Or the reverse, you know, you could click all the Southern ones out of the group and then um, just stick with N and W. I'm not sure, you know, it's, it's that useful uh, an option. Uh, hopefully somebody else here can think of a, of a good uh, use for it. Uh, but that's all there is to it. It's fairly straightforward, easy to do, um, and it allows you to come up with a subset of your locomotives uh, from the, separate from this uh, global list of, of locomotives in your roster. So give that a try and let me know how it works for you. Well, that's about it for roster groups. Um, I find them uh, quite a useful uh, way of organizing my roster, and I hope you will too. So uh, this weekend, go ahead, uh, give, uh, give it a try with your roster, and uh, see if you can set up some, some groups and uh, do some editing that way. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead, feel free to leave them uh, in the comment section here uh, on YouTube, and I read every comment and try to answer every comment. So uh, have a good weekend, and we'll see you here next week.